Welcome back. I'm Yorick. I just crawled out of somebody's grave, and we're about to step into the night. After a short review of my little quest log there, we've got exactly one thing left to do here in Hollywood before we book it to Chinatown. Well, two things if we include capping all the zombies and keeping them inside. But Mr. Romero is going to have to keep an eye on the place for a little while longer because I don't think I can do that. I, I did have an idea, and it requires a gun I don't have yet, but one I request him from good old Mercury. I need him to get me a sniper rifle so I can watch over that gate from here and pop over to this gate, which is just a little while away with a shotgun when needed. I can't go out that way. What am I doing? I can't do that. Yo, Rick, what are you doing? You can't do that either. But the quest that we have was for Miss Amalia, if I remember right. Something about putting cameras all over uh, a rifle model and her area, living spaces, etc., etc. It seems kind of underhanded and pervy, but god damn it, I'm the guy for the job. It was an apartment building, and I think it was this one. Yeah? But we're gonna case the joint first. There's gotta be other places, other ways to get inside this building. Let's check the sewers just to be sure. So, it's been a hell of a week. I, uh, I know not everyone is the political junkie I am, but guess who is getting subpoenaed? Now, me personally, I, I feel that this has been a long time in coming. I can't go in that way. Hey, Whiskers, since you happen to be there. Sorry, little guy. Anyways, I guess we're going into the front door. But yeah, Mr. 45, the Troll King himself getting subpoenaed. Whether or not they actually have the courage to carry through with said action is yet to be seen. Well, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna ask Bucks so we can see where everybody is. And we're actually pretty sufficient at sneaking now. I think our sneak is like seven, six. It's something stupid high, considering. Oh, I see. So it's gonna be like that. That's okay. I have other ways to go about this. Now, we have to find really decent places to put these cameras, but beyond that, I don't think there's a real... ...goal? Oh god. Like I said, this is good. Hey, a computer! Hey, sparklies! I don't hear her. It should be fine. Hack that damn computer. Did you come from? Yeah. 
<laughs> Oof, the restroom. Now we're getting pervy. Well, we got two really great spots. Where else can we put these damn things? Hmm. And we got one in the bathroom. We got one in the bedroom. Bouncy go out. I guess the living room somewhere, maybe? <laughs> Wouldn't that be wild? Appear right in front of the guy. Turn off the TV. Hey, change the channel. Hmm. You know, I'm, not, I'm really not sure where to put this other camera at. Well, it's someplace too obvious, but at the same time... I'm... Uh... I was standing. Evidently. And there's not too many places I can put this damn thing. And as I learned, jumping certainly isn't going to help. Where was I when I kept learning that lesson over and over and over again? That was a museum, right? Maybe aspects can help out a little bit. Just keep looking that way, Mr. Manager. Hmm. Kitchen. I didn't see any place to put a camera in the damn kitchen. I know I'm being extra safe with this, but I just want to reiterate how damn useful Asbox is. Seriously? Oh, Miss, Miss, Mrs. Tawny, can you just leave the area now? Anytime. Anytime now. What are you, like, making a casserole? I guess we'll just listen to the TV for the time being. They sure did fail to return from filming. Mr. Milton, though, I think is, uh, hell that does it somewhere, chasing the moon. He's fine. Now, if I remember, we should just do a cam check and get the hell out. 
responsible for the Incarn sarcophagus's robbery to return the relic. Huzzah. Sorry to keep Miss Amaya waiting, but we won't be returning immediately. We gotta get to Chinatown. Forget it, boss. It's Chinatown. That was a little risky, but I didn't feel like losing another point of blood. Nice place, though. Kind of empty, though. Can you imagine what an apartment like this must cost in today's rentals? Oh my god. Like a normal studio apartment, the rental on that anymore is like $1,200? And that's for like a studio apartment. I'm not talking like a good apartment. Like a basic studio, give me free blood apartment. Never pass up free blood. Hey, boss, you got a little something on your lip there. Ketchup. Yeah, but that apartment, that's got to be like... What? Hug it out, guys. Hug it out. Ten grand a month, Where maybe? I, I can't really be sure. It, it has to be something extravagant. Now, the first thing that we were told to do here is immediately go see... What was her name? Ming something. Ming Shi? We're still not gonna, we're not gonna hang Chunk. We're not gonna do it, man. Gotta get more bullets for that. Nope, first person. First person we see is Ming Shao. Ming Shao. That's what. I paid attention, I swear. It's one of the voices in my head say, anyways. Oh, come on, guys. You're not even going to respect your own temple? Look at this trash. It's right here in the middle of nowhere. There she is. Yeah, she's kind of pretty. Welcome, kindred. And thank you for respecting our traditions by announcing your presence in our domain. I am Ming Zhao, High Priestess to the people of Chinatown. Can I get you anything? Tea, perhaps? Ah, the Mistress of Mirrors. I'm sorry? I'm not sure I heard you correctly. The surface is cracked, tarnished, revealing more mirrors beneath. Oh, what wretched strain of Cain's curse is this? Truth wears many masks, mistress. Indeed it does, kindred. But let us speak of other things. How might I assist you? Hmm. I don't really want to tell her about the guy I killed in Santa Monica. She might want the sword back. That's my sword. Tell me more of your people, Mirror Mistress. We are called the Kuei Jin, though you may know us as Eastern Vampires. It is a grave misnomer, I can assure you. I hope she doesn't consider it rude that I didn't even answer about the tea, but I think she knew what she was doing. Does the curse of Cain flow in your veins? <laughs> no. We are not simply some exotic Cainite bloodline. Uh, I think she said she was the leader, so do you wear the vampiric veil, mistress? <laughs> we are supernatural. That does not mean we are like yourself. We are beings returned through the second breath for a purpose. Uh, she really likes to sway when she talks, doesn't she? What's the second breath? The second breath, our rebirth into the supernatural form. It is a spiritual awakening, not some lowly blood ritual meant to spread a despicable curse. Now you can go fuck yourself.
Our kinds cast similar shadows. We share superficial similarities. Quajian feed on essences that can be found in blood, yes. But as we refine our existence, rarely are we lowered to consume the bodily fluids of others. You choose this supernatural state. No, we do not choose. But events of our lives can awaken dark spiritual energies. We are not born of the whims of another as the kindred are. I mean... Not to break the moment, but... Don't we have to drink the blood of the vampire? I don't know if it has to, it's, I don't know if it's specific to the one that drained us, but I'm pretty sure humans have to be drained to the point of death where they're dying, bleeding out as it were, and then drink from a vampire, and I don't think it has to be the one that drained them. So in a very real way, doesn't that make it our choice whether to drink or not, to drink and accept vampirism or to die clean? But oh well, whatever. What reason behind this unfortunate fate? Oh yeah, bitch, I can throw those words back too. The reasons are as numerous as the Quajin themselves. Each is reborn with a purpose that they must find. Once their path is evident, they must seek to fulfill it even if it takes eternity. Your dressing is different, yet cursed also you are. On the contrary, it is another chance for us to find our place in the universe. A chance for transcendence. We are not damned, not burdened with an ancient guilt, as in the legend of your biblical progenitor. Have your ears seen the Ankaran sarcophagus? Of course. The entire city is alight with news of its arrival and speculation about one of your ancient vampire grandfathers and his evil apocalyptic plot. I still have wager on the uh, unidentified box. You know where lies this terrible box. We seek it, of course. I have two of my best agents looking. It could be a powerful bargaining tool. Oh, uh, with the quarry being single-minded, it would almost certainly be an, a, a, not just a bargaining tool, but a fucking trump card. I think asking who are these agents are a bit silly. Um, may I mine your gray matter? What can I help you with? I seek a Nosferatu Nightchild. So, the great Nosferatu have lost an agent, have they? It was not by my hand, if that's what they think. No knowledge at all of this Nazi. I don't know where he is. Perhaps you should speak with Wong Ho about this. Is Wong Ho gung ho? I can't help myself. I'll see myself out. In about three minutes. Who is this Wong Ho? Wong Ho owns the Red Dragon restaurant. He's a prominent businessman who has garnered much respect among his people. If something is amiss in Chinatown, he may know how to help you. I will chase this deadly dragon. I grant you permission to operate in the Quajin domain. For now, may you find your path, kindred. Coolies! Neat. I know it's an ask, but if anyone could translate that symbols there on the poster, I'd appreciate it. Just go ahead and throw it in the comment section if you happen to see this. Cool. Man, they got these sardine tins everywhere! Oh, also if you could translate this. It looks like just a grave marker, but I guess I could be wrong. Do these open? They do not open. 
I might be asking for translations on a lot of things. I took a year of Chinese in... Huh. No one gonna do anything, huh? It's like Santa Monica all over again. Yeah, well, anyways, like I was saying, I took a year of Chinese in high school, but I didn't actually go anywhere with it. I still remember a few things. Lady? Anyways. This appears to be the red dragon. Check. And inside is likely a man named Wong Ho. And we will be asking him how he can help us. And maybe even who that girl was that was seen carrying down the street. Being carried down the street. But until then, farewell, vampire. Sorry.